New at 5, the popular Alpine Valley Music Theater is for sale. It's listed at $8 million. So what does that mean for future concerts there? Todd Hicks live in Chopper 4 with the latest talk. Well, Mike and Carol, people who live near Alpine Valley, tell me they're not surprised it was put up for sale. They tell me the number of concerts here over the last few years has continued to dwindle. It's here at Alpine Valley where countless musical memories have been made. The future of the legendary amphitheater is now in question after its owners listed it for sale. I wasn't really surprised because they have had very few concerts lately. Michael and Sue Bong have lived next to Alpine Valley since it opened in the late 70s. Their family sold the land to developers to build it. The family knew there were problems with just a couple of concerts scheduled this season. Something has to change, so we didn't know if it was going to be sold or if they were going to add camping to the concerts. The nearly 200 acre property is on the market for more than $8 million. The bull right over that fence seats about 37,000. There's been a lot of big names that played here before. Acts like the Grateful Dead, Aerosmith, and the Rolling Stones, to name a few. The amphitheater has also been the site of tragedy. This is where Stevie Ray Vaughan's helicopter went down in heavy fog in 1990, killing the musician and four others on board. We were sitting out here and I think it was, I don't remember, five or six hearse went by. Michael says the chaos of the concerts here have waned over the years. Yes, it's not anything like it was 10, 15 years ago. It a very story place. Now, the company that leases the venue say the sale will have no impact on its business. They say they'll continue to operate as normal. We're live in Chopper Fort tonight. Todd Hicks, today's TMJ4. Yeah, very iconic venue, Alpine Valley. Thanks, Todd.